Hi everyone, so I'm just coming in with a quick video to show you how I am changing my New Year set. The, the nails did not need a fill, so I've literally just took down the bulk of the acrylic with my e-file and then so there is not a big thick nail there to work on and I'm just going in with some Neo Nails Natural Beige and my NSI Royal Precision Brush and I'm just working that bead up to make a French smile line. I'm showing you here that I'm working around the cuticle. I'm putting that point of the brush right in between my cuticle and the acrylic so I can get as close as possible to the cuticle without actually touching any of my skin. If you do touch your skin, you must remember to clean away as soon as straight away because if you leave any acrylic touching that skin you are going to set yourself up for lifting on that nail so i'm trying to show you here me trying to just perfect that smile line so i haven't really got to go in and file it and i'm showing you the how that is the highest point of what i am working on because i'm going to add like a glitter to the tip of the nail so you can see me just still moving that bead around if your bead gets a little bit too dry you can always dip your brush back in the monomer and carry on working with that bead and flattening it out so you're doing a lot of work with your brush so that when it comes to filing you haven't got much work to do you always want to try and do as much and clean work as possible with your brush okay so what i'm doing here is i'm taking some nsi brush on glue and i'm just going to put that glue all on the tip after I've put that glue all over the tip, again, try not to get it on your skin. I'm just going to dip it into that pot and then I'm going to tap away that excess glitter. The reason I'm doing it this way is because there is already a nail underneath. I don't want to then apply my glitter with acrylic and then cap it in acrylic and then end up with a super thick nail where I'm then just going to file into all my glitter. We do not want to do that. Your glitter will then just go white and dull. So I'm taking a bead of acrylic now and I'm just, once that glue is completely, completely dry, you don't want to go in when it still could be tacky underneath because you're then just going to ruin your brush, you're going to ruin your acrylic application. So make sure you're leaving that nail for as long as possible until you're absolutely certain that glue underneath is dry. <clears throat> so I'm just working that bead up and applying it, trying to cap all that glitter and then I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit on the tip because it wasn't quite covered. And then I will brush and blend that into the existing acrylic that I've already applied. So I'm doing the same process on the pinky except I am not applying a French smile line. So I'm just brushing that glue on the entire nail, dipping it into the glitter, tapping away the excess. I will push it into the glue but not too hard because you, it could still seep out and then you're going to get glitter stuck all over your fingers and it's just going to be a big mess so I will leave that then if there are any gaps you can always go in again with the glue and go again and then I cap that nail. Here is a set I was sent from Bundle Monster and um, it is the Moroccan gel polish set and this one I'm using is Jordan Blue, Jardin Blue. I must say, when I get sent things to review, I always say to myself 100% that I will always be honest. So, we, as we all know, I normally use Madame Glam, but because they off, they sent me this and asked me if I would like to do a review, obviously I said yes. The gel polish colours are beautiful. It goes on beautifully, the colours, the, the opacity, I did not need a lot of coats. This one is also a one-step gel so that it doesn't have a tacky layer once you've cured. However, this particular set, because I have got the Snake Charmer set, but this one really does have quite a strong, potent smell and I'm really not a fan of the smell. So I'm not going to lie and say that it is fantastic. The gel is good. It is beautiful colours. It glides on well. But the smell is a little bit off-putting for me because it, it, it kind of makes me gag when I'm applying it. So I'm really sorry, but that is just my honest opinion on them gel polishes. Other than that, they are really beautiful and the colours they do have are beautiful. Like this teal is a really lovely colour. 
So I'm going to go in with some white acrylic paint and I'm just going to go in with like a random pattern. I wasn't really sure where I was going. I was just kind of applying it because I wanted to add something else to the nail. So I'm just going to kind of go in and making like a dotty flowery kind of pattern and nothing too complex. Once I've done with that, I will apply my blue ski matte top coat, two coats onto the blue nails and then my Neo nails mega gloss sealer onto the glitter nails and I have left pictures I'm sorry it's not really a long tutorial but I thought I'd share it with you guys anyway I hope you were really really good and enjoying the start of 2016 and I definitely will be back again with another video very very soon so take care now thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon